Now the most important thing when you mount these is you must have it flat. Hi, welcome to Phil's Camping Reviews. My name is Phil. In continuation to the last video where I showed you the elect brakes, let's open her up and have a look. So this is the main unit. Includes some self-drilling screws. You can see it's fairly compact. Now this is waterproof and dustproof. So you're going to have no issues with this mounted outside your camper trailer or caravan. You'll notice that's the main plug. So basically all we got to do is mount this in approximately this orientation level and basically just screw in the self-drilling screws here so hopefully they'll get through the frame if not we'll have to pre-drill a four mil hole there's no manuals in here but don't worry you do get a full comprehensive manual and it's in the app on the phone so when you open this up there is a scan code right here so we'll show you the app very shortly right now let's look for a location to mount this onto the front of my camper trailer. Here is the drawbar, so we can mount it anywhere on here. I believe you can also mount it upright as well, which we won't be doing that. You can see that the bar is not wide enough. We could consider right here, or we can consider over the back here. So this is the plug that comes with the adapter. Now you do not get this with the elect brakes main controller unit itself. You will need to purchase an, an optional adapter that will suit your camper trailer to your tow vehicle. In my case, it's seven pin. I can either go here or I can either go there. I've come to the conclusion that this is not long enough from there to here. We're going to be about a hundred mils short. Now I can see the trailer is level. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to have to mount it over here. That's the most difficult part of this installation is completed. Literally pre-drill four holes, screw in, four screws, and she's mounted. Now the most important thing when you mount these is you must have it a level to the ground. One of these points there could either be there, could either be this side, or there, there, or here. That has to be leveled to the ground. And then what happens when it turns on, it's got like a gyroscopes, etc. inside. So when it when you turn it on, it then calibrates very quickly to the orientation you've got. It doesn't matter whether it's facing this way or that way as well. 
it will calibrate to that orientation there to complete the install before we actually use the app to finalize the installation is plug that in now we're going to connect this onto my vehicle we've installed the elect brake main unit. So I had them mounted right here. And yes, there's plenty of room in between there and the ARC 750. Now I do plan to replace this with one of the boss ones. The next step to do is to bring up on the app, which I'm gonna show you now, so this is a screenshot of me phone and you got the elect brakes app right here so as i mentioned before you do not get an adapter so this is an accessory that you have to purchase so i'm now going to plug this in place in the correct orientation this is quite important these do not work unless they've got power to it they need power through the brake line so in order to do that when you tow you have to have your lights on on your vehicle now if you don't like the idea of having lights on while you're towing you can wire these up through another one of the accessories as long as it's got power when you turn the vehicle on we also need to plug this one in as well so on the app when you open it up I'll show you again we'll close it we'll open the app you click on which one of the devices you're using so I've got the EB2 so click on that one so you'll see here in the app we've got an ins installation step by step it'll tell you what tools you need so we've gone through all this here's the, the steps on how to install the main unit itself as you see screw in into the drawbar plug everything in which is what I've done and click on done so next step is pairing so we'll click on that power so the EB2 draws power from your tail lights or auxiliary. Start your car and turn on your headlights and tail lights if necessary. So I've got the both. I've got the headlight on. So I'm click click on. Now we're going to tap to add. Let me just move this out the way. What we do now? Tap to add. So it's ready to scan. There we are, ready to scan, found device, pair. So we're now gonna pair it, we'll continue. Let's check your brake signal. Put your foot on the brake pedal. Braking. Next step is the brake response. So I've just taken my Pajero in my camper trailer for a test drive down a dirt road and I have adjusted the brakes. 
you adjust the minimum braking strength what that does is it adjusts the brakes to come on pretty much as soon as you hit the brake pedals so the problem is with a lot of the others brake controllers out there there's really no way to adjust that yet you're kind of relying on these the device itself to adjust when those brakes turn on so with these elec brakes you can actually adjust the sensitivity on how soon after you apply the brakes that it actually applies those brakes and then once I set that and you saw I would have set that up when I was driving back and forward so the suggestion is to drive it to 20 kilometers per hour and then gradually just tap on the brakes adjust one percent at a time that's right one percent so you've got hundred percent range just touch that keep going up until you start feeling the brakes are starting to apply and then back off a little bit and then that will give you the ideal settings there the next step is to adjust the sensitivity while you're driving so then what what the instructions told me to drive up to 40 kilometers per hour ideally on a dirt road so that's what I've done I went down the road and found a dirt road I drove 40 kilometers per hour and then hit the brakes and then I adjusted the sensitivity I turned it up until I felt what I think is a good brake response feels like it's not pushing your Pajero along when you hit the brakes or the brakes is pulling the Pajero back I think I got that pretty well spot on and then the next one is for the sensitivity the brake sensitivity when you hit the override on this remote here or on the phone and so what that does is when you press that it adjusts how much the brake comes on in the instructions it says to set it so that you've got a smooth braking response gradually slows your vehicle down the next step is when you click on next it asks if you got the remote in regards to the remote it doesn't have a battery have to have it plugged into a USB port in your car ideally one that's connected through the accessories then it powers this up and then you'll hear a beep this is really worthwhile considering because with this then you do not need to rely on your phone so this now overrides the phone also has adjustments so if you click on menu you can actually set this for up to five settings so you can have a settings where driving on the highway with an empty trailer a settings where driving on the highway with a full trailer a setting where you'll probably want a, a higher brake response well then all you got to do when you go into car is just press that twice and go to setting number two now I believe you can adjust the naming on here as well to what settings you want so you could have highway heavy highway low etc four drive low four drive heavy etc you know, you've got another one spare for whatever setting you want to use as well so that's a unique feature with this you, you don't get that with a lot of the others so it's a set and forget as well and remember with this setup here you don't have to have a brake controller installed on your vehicle so if you've got more than one vehicle that you want to use to tow your caravan or camper trailer you're going to save funds because the brake controller is installed on your camper trailer which means then you don't have to spend the money and get a professionally installed brake controller in your four-wheel drive which in the end is going to end up costing by the time you pay for a reputable good four drive auto electrician by the time you pay for that and the devices and the other devices you're going to be up at the same price level as one of these elec brakes i went for a bit of a drive around and i am really really happy how the brakes are performing on this i've never had the brakes work as good i don't know if you can see behind me what's coming but that's a really dark rain cloud so before that thing's arrived I'm going to back this back into the garage and put it away and call that a completed job so that was very successful like I said I'm very very happy how that's worked 
So guys, till next time, eh? Look after yourself, be kind everyone, and cheers. And any questions, ask down below. See ya.